Hey everybody, happy new year. Game does play games. Yeah, yeah that's us. Uh, so we thought it might be kind of fun to do a sh short little like anniversary video since yeah. GDBG has been around for a little bit more than a year now. So we're going to kind of go through some of our awful, awful videos. Not the whole thing, just like snippets of them. Our <laughs> Oh, I'm so excited. Uh, but before we get to that, we have a few announcements to make. Yeah, so... You're over the next mm, couple of weeks, hopefully at the beginning of the new year, um, we're going to be having some branding updates, uh, which basically means new banner, new profile. And more importantly, we're going to have a new intro and outro in our videos. So I hope that you guys like that. Um, and I think the, the bigger and cooler thing is we're going to start implementing a voting, voting system. Voting system. <laughs> I love interrupting you. It's the best thing ever. Mm -hmm. Voting system at the end of every episode, so you'll get to pick uh, what that what we should play next. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, and last but not least, we have officially made Geek Arius an official member of the show. Yeah, so yeah. if you like the stuff that he's been in so far, he's going to stick around for some more. And if you don't like it, then you should comment and tell us <laughs> so we can kick him off, because I didn't Before want him too part late. of it, and he came in anyway, and now I don't know what to do. So I need your... No, I'm kidding. You know, I hope you enjoy Geek Carriers. <laughs> All right, let's jump into this. Recap. Greetings from Affinity Archives. So, this is Chris, and we're doing an archive study. This right now, this is the very first episode that ever got put on the show. This is technically more than a year ago. And I, I counted, I think, the first uh, 12 or 15 seconds was black screen. Just me being like, hey, so we're going to do a game a an analysis on this. And uh, is this? This, was, this is Outlast. Oh, I, this, was, this was before this I had was anyone. This a year ago? Yeah. I, that was me on the show by myself before I had anyone else on. And I recorded that and it was just like. I recently I need, got I need an help. update from these guys. That's I forgot yeah. that I actually did join their Kickstarter. I was so excited about the game after playing it. I was like, yeah, I'm totally in their Kickstarter. Yeah, and Rogue Wizards right now is still our most viewed video. Oh God, no. on it's our a channel. really good game. Oh. It's it's just crazy too because it was such Why? bad quality. It was before we went had recording spaces before we had good microphones, and people still watched. They watched it for a decent amount of time too. That intro, by the way, that was the first the first real intro, and it was like a construction scene. I mean, it's very clever. It was it was like, hey, we're working on the branding, but we want to start putting content out there. Oh, this game, Sandstorm. I love this man, and I hate him so much at the same time. He he still makes a lot of really great stuff. The videos you've played so far have been me going, oh, oh I hate this. Oh, what's up? I I tried to pick funnier moments of the games, but yeah. Oh, this is when I beat you terribly. And if I slide up like this, bam! Whoa! Color wheel. So many grays. <laughs> so <laughs> I still laugh. <laughs> That joke when I oh, was throwing so this together, I thought that was so Come funny. On, color wheel. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh how, like I actually used the correct art term too, yeah, and you're like, no, it's this show. thing. I was like, oh, okay, sorry, I'm not an artist. I didn't know. And then it turned out it's right. Guys, I have an idea. Oh yes, uh, this one's gonna be a little bit longer, so we can talk about this for a while. Um, this this was definitely we really haven't had many special episodes since we made this. Here it comes. Uh, oh, yeah. So if Hazel. anyone doesn't know, oh, we, we decided to eat ghost peppers and play Mario Kart there 8. Is. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, ghost pepper Mario. Oh, so good. <laughs> it was so fun. Oh. <laughs> you were so worried. And you had every right to be. Just jumping right in. Yeah. I mean, you know, while it wasn't as, like, viral as a lot of other stuff on YouTube, yeah. I personally, I think in the end of making this, um, it was it was just fun. And I mean, I, that was half the point anyway, right? We, oh, yeah, absolutely. I, I think I had more fun showing this to, like, coworkers and family members and hearing them laugh about us. I mean... I enjoyed it. Uh, like my mouth is watering oh, yeah. right now just thinking about it again. Uh, again. Yeah, except you were the yeah. only one that was like, yeah, ghost pepper, whatever. This is the only part where you did anything funny in the whole video. You're just like, oh, Mario Kart is just screwing me. Wow. <laughs> yeah, this is how I feel inside. <laughs> 
Uh, oh, and so then good. and then the real intro. The real intro. And you know, I don't think a lot of people Let's liked it, but it was fun for what it was. I noticed we had a huge drop off rate after our intro video. Oh, yeah. That's why we're experimenting with getting rid of it. This is the first one I think that Jen was officially on the channel for. <laughs> oh, really? She did Rogue Wizards with us. I forgot about that. Yeah. Um, but then we lost the content with Jen, and you and I were just like, well, we'll just have to do it without Jen. And it's also kind of why we stopped the game, too, because I was actually really enjoying it, too. Mm -hmm. Actually, I uh, just today was going through my list, and uh, I found out I had it on Humble Bundle, and I was like, I'm so excited to play this. <laughs> oh, Zone of the Enders. Oh, yes. This is also when we started adding adding the little like border at the edges of the screen. This is these are clouds by the way. I know it's stupid and you can't really tell what they are from the little snippet you got um, which is why I changed it later on, but it was like Affinity Archives. Uh, the tower is up in the clouds. Ooh. And uh, that was silly. Border a little bit tr more trim here. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, I think uh, Zone of the Enders had more border simply because yeah, the yeah, the resolution was uh, that makes much, sense. much lower. This game, we got a lot of people who fought us on some of our opinions. <laughs> there were some people who, who have been like really excited. We're like, oh, that's, I'm really glad you did this playthrough. I can't wait for you to do the real one, which obviously we're still waiting for the real game to come out. Mm -hmm. But uh, man, some people were just like... Like, no how dare you make fun of this series? And I was like, listen, I've been playing this game literally since I could pick up a controller. You mean Final Fantasy Final in Fantasies general? Final Fantasies in general. So if you have a different opinion, I will fight you in real life. <laughs> but no, it was, it was a fun series, and I'm glad we did it. Mm -hmm. This game, uh, the Aquatic Adventure of the Last Human, if I remember the name correctly, this is coming out in January of 2016, so I'm actually really excited to come to the full game of this. We had a lot of fun. With this one. Yeah, this this was a blast, and it was a proper yes. Metroidvania too, with you know the there submarine you mechanics. Yeah, I I hope that we can oh, record this early oh, early on in the year. The this okay, so this is Primal so Carnage. For some oh, yeah. reason, we didn't have a uh, an actual like introduction to this video because you know how most of the time oh, yeah, we're yeah. like, hey, we're playing this. For whatever reason, I didn't do that for Primal Carnage. And, 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 yeah, in retrospect, I was like, why did I do that? But I don't. <laughs> Um, but this is one did pretty well though it did yeah uh, for the for the most part our subscribers really like this and uh We've been planning on coming back to it multiple times and just never have done it. And I'm actually a little worried to do that with Cujo because I don't know if he like... Cujo, it's not really his kind of game, so I don't know if he's going to have a lot to talk about it. But the amount of feedback we got from those videos was ridiculous. I have almost literally four pages of, of feedback, um, which I'm supposed to read as soon as we jump back into the series. <laughs> Ah, uh, yeah, Vashita Blade. Oh, man. Oh, I crushed him so hard so many times. <laughs> oh. This was all Kujo's idea because I found the Bushido Blade series just hanging out, uh, and he was like, we should play this. It, it was fun, too. We didn't have a lot of design talk, but it was pretty goofy. Ah, uh, shout out to Luke Crane. Ah, uh, yeah. Also, this was before I realized that wearing pajama pants on camera was a bad idea. Yeah. <laughs> I, in retrospect, I'm incredibly embarrassed. I should have realized that it was just amateurish to not like actually dress a little nicer. Yeah, you're, you're just, just kind of be, trying to be chill about it. Yeah, well, I was like, yeah, no, I don't really care. I want to be relaxed and comfortable, and this is more about the conversation. But I was like, but now we're on camera, Chris. You should probably realize that. This was fun though. This was a lot of fun to edit too because it was it was kind of like editing for Arcane Duels except simpler. It's smooth too. It's it was just it was a smooth pretty video. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we should play I think we are planning and playing more tabletop or board games in the future. I I wholeheartedly uh, support that. We just have to pick the right one, you know. Yeah. The directions were basically Oh, Eddie, this is where we pulled him on for a few episodes. Eddie is our sound guy. We should do that more often. No, Eddie was a blast. Yeah. He he has a habit though of just absolutely Absolutely disappearing 
just continue to cook out of nowhere and out of sheer randomness and, and then randomly getting a hold of you too yeah and randomly reappearing and be like hey chris i'm sorry i'm a terrible person to work with and then he'll disappear again for another two months i i tried to get a hold of him for about two months and then i was like yeah let's talk about this one thing and then finally he got a hold of me like this is just like a week ago and he was like by the way so uh i figured we could talk about your new game project you started uh you know i can talk for a couple of hours and i was like what I like I can't I get the time of day from this guy and all of a sudden he's like yeah let's just talk about it for a couple hours Eddie oh Eddie Stasis was a fun playthrough too this was a great playthrough uh, even if it was one of the longer ones we did and we didn't get it's what I've noticed. I, I actually am, that's one of the more satisfying playthroughs I think we've done on the show it, I you know, like Devil May Cry 4 Ooh. I feel like we're doing justice to Stasis. It deserved that. It yeah, deserved, yeah, it deserves absolutely. Players. It deserves that uh, attention. Uh, Speaking of which, uh, uh, it was it was very brief, but Expedition. Curious Expedition has been a blast so far. Yeah, aren't aren't you guys like talking to the creators of the game? So yeah, we we've been trying to actually sit down with the developers and record a short playthrough with them on the phone with us. Um, it's just hard because they're in Germany and we all have day jobs so especially nick who's been working like doubles at his job so yeah i'll do it but <laughs> it's it's something to look forward to in 2016 so. it's on the schedule uh, for january to record it, it, we, hopefully we don't push it back any further and then mario maker <laughs> back when we still had the cat paw cat paw <laughs> uh, uh, mario maker mario maker yeah mario maker's been fun especially but, because yeah, that's probably like, one of our more yeah. experimental what? things that we've done on the show well we keep changing the format up too because i'm not sure exactly how like what is the best way to do that right and it's totally different from what we've been doing so it's like how can we set this up to actually <laughs> uh, that was one of my favorite moments from lost two was when Kujo got scared and instead of me jumping I just fucking smile like a smart ass uh, so mean so what is with your hair in that video I don't know man what the hell is happening so, okay, okay, did a cat die on the side of your face let, let, me, let me explain so at that point I was actually worried so my hairline started receding like even more I was like oh god what if it's the ponytail pulling out all my hair? So for like a two, solid two weeks span of time, I didn't wear the ponytail at all because I was like, I gotta save what hair I have left. And that's just what it looks like when it's out on the side. That's why I don't leave it out on the side anymore. A cat died on the side of your head. I'm also really annoyed that you did that playthrough without me. You know what? All things considered, Downwell was one of, I think, the best things I did with Geek Areas. We can play it some more. It doesn't have have to be just no, a single episode you playthrough. You are. We no, didn't beat it. We, oh, we got to the end. Well, Whatever. Really and there's still plenty more to explore. The Zisteria. That was okay. I specifically stated I wanted nothing to do with that game. Yeah. No. Zisteria. It was fun. Unfortunately, I don't think our audience really cared for it. And, and I might have set a bad precedence at the beginning of the show, uh, or for that playthrough, because I very quickly started like ranting about like issues with um. That's like. Uh, sexism in the game and what I will apparently people didn't agree with you on it and I'll hold my ground I think that the sexism was bad but I think a lot of people disagreed with me right away and didn't want to watch the rest that game that game no no that game was awesome so that that scene I mean when you're on that screen but yeah no so what happened is the gr the game crashed intentionally well, and we were talking about that. It, that game, uh, Please Don't Touch Anything, it's a total brain melter. It's an awesome puzzle game. If you haven't seen that video, you should watch it. I haven't seen that video, I'm going to be honest right now. <laughs> oh, this is where we finally start using the green screen. Yeah. At this point, this is when some of our uh, audience was just like, whoa, the quality. And I was like, wow, I didn't think a green screen would have made that big of a difference. But shit, I should have done this sooner. I had this green screen for like a month. No joke. You know, you should end this video with one of those things we were talking about and allowing the people to view or to vote right now. Yeah, okay. I, I have it ready, so we can... Let's we can just do that. Do it right now. Vote on the thing so, that I'm pointing to. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't like it when I point, so I'm just going to point to both sides of the screen now. Actually, oh no, they're not going to line up with you. <laughs> of course they but yeah, we're, we'll have a couple of games on here for you to vote on of something you'd like to see us to play in January, so... It's been a fun year. Just click on it. It's an annotation, and we'll, we can just see if you clicked it is, is basically how it's going to work. Uh, guys, thanks. We'll see you 
this year, <laughs> I guess. Yeah, thank, seriously, though, thank you, everybody, for, for watching our show, especially any of you guys that have stuck around for the long run. I know we sucked in the beginning, but we're always working on improving things, so if you ever have yeah. any feedback. But, uh, hooray, we have almost 250 subscribers, so this is actually... Maybe we should have them vote on a gimmick episode. <laughs> like, eat another ghost pepper. Oh, or, no. Or, you know, do it in a monkey costume. Don't actually do that. We're not going to let you vote on that. We don't have a monkey costume. We can get a monkey costume. Well, if you want to watch Chris <laughs> be in a monkey costume, see it in the archives. <laughs> see. Happy New Year, everyone. <laughs>